Hi everyone, my name is Aya, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about one of the most famous Egyptian literary men around the globe. Not only this, he also wrote around 7,000 books in different languages. He has been nominated for Nobel Prize around 14 times and actually won one of them. His name is Taha Hussein. Taha Hussein was born in November 1889. He was born in a city named Maghara, located in Upper Egypt. And Taha Hussein was from a very big family with 12 brothers and sisters. Can you even believe that? Not only this, the tragic part is actually that he lost his sight while he was just two years old. In 1917, he was married to a French woman named Susan Bresso. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. And he had two children from her. A son named Mu'nes and a daughter named Amina, who unfortunately died at a very young age. And after that, Taha Hussein died in 1973. What's very exciting about this guy is that even though he lost his sight, but he did not give up. In 1903, Taha Hussein went to Cairo with his brother in order to join Al Azhar University while he was just. 13 years old can you believe it someone who entered college while he was just 13 years old that's pretty amazing isn't it but unfortunately due to some struggles he faced while he was studying at the Azhar university specifically related to the final exam in 1912 his journey at the Azhar university has come to an end even though that happened but Taha Hussein did not give up he insisted to continue learning. So, at the same year, he actually found out about a new university just opened under the name of the Ancient Egyptian University. So he joined this university. He felt like this is the best place for him and he could just prove himself. He could express his feelings, his opinions and everything. He devoted himself into studying at this university. Guess what happened next? In 1914, Taha Hussein managed to achieve the doctoral degree. So just to make sure that you're really paying attention to this video, tell me down below in the comments what was his exact aid. He achieved the doctoral degree. In 1917, he received the International Doctorate Certificate from Sorbonne University in France. Again, hope I'm pronouncing it right. In 1917, he was appointed as a professor of ancient history at the same university he graduated from. In 1923, he was appointed as a professor at the new Egyptian university. But after 10 years, it was in 1932, he was expelled. However, in 1942, he was appointed as a counselor in the Ministry of Education. In 1943, he was appointed as a manager for the University of Farouk I. And finally, in 1950, he was appointed as the Minister of the Ministry of Education. Now, let's mention some of his famous writing. The first one we have called The Days. Number two, on pre-Islamic poetry. Number three, the future of culture of Egypt. Number four, the tree of misery. Number five, the call of Curlew. Since we are talking about Dr. Taha Hussein, we must mention his museum. And before we go deep into this part, I would like to send special thanks to a lady who works there. Her name is Iman. She's an amazing person. She was my guide during my whole tour. So, about the museum it's actually not really a museum it was his house and it has been considered as a museum in honor of his memorial really worth visiting one of the unique things i noticed there is that this house or this museum has no closets like really the closets they are built into the walls so can you believe this can you even imagine another thing that i noticed there which i think it's very cool is that there are a lot of photo frames put throughout the wall and that was because of his wife susan seems like she was a photo frame lover i will link down in the description the location of this museum the museum in general is small 
it's not that big it's only two floors however it was designed in a unique and simple way for the comfortability of dr ta hussein the ticket price for this museum was only three egyptian pounds for students and five egyptian pounds for adults guys i want to tell you something very important no photos allowed completely forbidden that's why i did not manage to take any pictures for you guys only the garden you are allowed to take picture of nothing else thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoy it tell me what you think down in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video